A flight attendant is accused of rigging up a camera to record young girls in an airplane bathroom. And one of those flights was from Orlando. Fox 35's Chris Lindsay is joining us live here in the studio tonight. So Chris, this is pretty scary. Very scary indeed. Now, according to the court documents, the family was on a roughly two hour flight when their four year old daughter got up to use the bathroom. She was shocked to see this on the seat. The first thing the girl did was show her parents. Without that picture of that cell phone, then who knows, this may never have come to light and he may have got away with it. This photo helped lead to the arrest of an American Airlines flight attendant. Attorney Paul Llewellyn represents an alleged victim in a lawsuit. There was a child abuser flying in the air. According to the Department of Justice, on a flight from Charlotte to Boston, 36-year-old Estes Thompson III told the young girl to use a specific bathroom, saying the other ones were being used. Llewellyn says the family was horrified to learn it was likely a plot to spy on their daughter. He thought he couldn't be caught. Maybe he just got overconfidence. I reached out to American Airlines. They tell me we take these allegations very seriously. They do not reflect our airline or our core mission of caring for people. They went on to say there is nothing more important than the safety and security of our customers and team. Llewellyn responded saying, Actions speak louder than words. This family want to ensure this can never happen again to any other family. So far, Thompson's been charged with one count of attempted sexual exploitation of children and one count of possession of child pornography. All right, Chris, so right now investigators don't think this was a one-time incident. That's right. They say there could be up to five flights that this happened on, including one from Orlando to Charlotte last summer. They're asking people who believe they're a victim or perhaps even a witness to come forward. Wow. Chris, thanks so much.